Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to install Corvus Android 10 ROM on Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus and Note 8. Let's try this ROM on my Galaxy S8 Plus. Let's see what we get in this ROM. Before we start, you need to have a rooted phone with TWRP recovery installed. If your phone is not rooted, I have a video to show you how to root. The link is in the description. Follow the instructions and when you are done, come back to this video. We need to download 3 zip files. Number 1. ROM zip file. Let's reboot system. Remember, the first port will take some time, so don't panic. Now the phone has booted up. I have been using this ROM from past two days. I have not seen any bugs. Let's verify root access. As you can see, we are rooted. Vivo LTE is not going to work in this ROM. It's not a bug. AOSP ROMs do not support Vivo LTE. Camera in AOSP ROMs are not good. So I would recommend you to install Google Camera. Please find the video link in the description. This ROM offers few customization settings in Raven's layer which you find in settings. In notifications, you can enable edge lighting. Going to miscellaneous, you can see status bar icons are little cut off at the corners. This is how you can fix it. Go to rounded corners, disable framework values and set status bar padding value to 15. Then you can enable swipe to take screenshot gesture. You can also change screenshot type. This will let you take extended screenshot. And select crop area. You can also turn on gaming mode. Going to lock screen. You can customize lock screen. And also enable or disable vibration for fingerprint authentication. In status bar menu. You can enable battery bar, change battery icon style and display battery percentage. You can customize carrier label and clock style. In icon manager, 
you can enable or disable status bar icons. In quick settings, you can enable quick pull down, change number of rows and columns of quick settings icons. You can also change brightness slider position. In traffic indicators, you can enable network traffic in status bar. In buttons menu, you can assign different actions to volume keys. In navigation, you can enable on screen navigation bar. In power menu, you can enable advanced restart option. Now let's see key features Android 10 offers. Going to settings, system, then gestures. We have gesture navigation. Swipe up and hold to access recent apps. Swipe up to go to home screen. Swipe from the edge of the screen to navigate back. Dark mode in Android 10 is better than Android 9. More apps are now supported in dark mode. You can create a QR code for your Wi-Fi network and you can also join the network by scanning the QR code. If you accidentally remove an app from your home screen, you have an option to undo the change. Privacy settings has been redesigned in Android 10. You have a dashboard to see all the permissions your apps have. You can see battery percentage of your connected Bluetooth devices straight from your notification screen. Talking about performance, no lag, no heating issues while playing games. Battery performance is also very good. Benchmark scores of this ROM is very impressive. So definitely this ROM is good for gaming. And more importantly, this ROM is completely bug free and definitely you should try this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are not. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I will be happy to answer them. I will see you on the next one. Until next time, take care.